Hello everybody, Sharissa here again. Uh, I just have been in the in the process of reading a book and it's called The Magic of Believing. Can you see that? This is what it looks like. This book has given me some great insight on on what our subconscious mind is and a lot of us will say well subconsciously I knew something wasn't right or subconsciously I knew I should have done something different than what I did but I really think that a lot of people take the subconscious mind very lightly they think that it's just something that's just normal and it, and it really doesn't really have a big significant meaning in our life but that couldn't be any more not true. Um, I read, when I started reading this book, it really gave me a, a better picture of what the subconscious mind is and that we do have two minds. And that really our subconscious, our, our, our conscious thoughts um, stem from our subconscious mind. What, what, what we think about, what we, our actions come from what we think about subconsciously um, and I really recommend reading this book because it will really give you a very very good understanding it's really hard to kind of tell you too much without it being very confusing um, but I kind of I wanted to read a couple lines a, a couple paragraphs in this book um, because I feel that it really um, it, it really pertains to what is going on in our in our economic situation right now what's going on in our world um, and I think that it'll help a lot of you have a mental shift as far as the way that you look at our world and what is going on um, it says money always sensitive money oh excuse me let me let me let me start over money always sensitive runs to cover when fear suggestions begin to circulate and business failures and unemployment quickly follow we hear thousands of stories of bank failures huge concerns going to the wall etc and people believe them readily and act accordingly there will there will never be another business depression if people generally realize that it is within our own fear thoughts that they literally create hard times. I'm sorry, it's a little hard to see. They think hard times and hard times follow. So it is with war, so is it with wars. When people of the world stop thinking depression and wars, when people of all the world stop thinking depression and wars, they will become non-existent. For nothing comes into our economic scheme unless we, are f unless we first create it with our own emotional thinking. And I think that, that it, it just, reading that just rang so true to me because even though, yes, that there is a lot of, you know, I guess bad things going on in our world and it, most people would say there's really no such thing as good and bad it's just things just are um, but I really have noticed that me taking on this new way of thinking and me really just knowing that my life is going is going in a, in a very positive direction I, I, I think I, I think in a um, I think in, a, in, in the mindset of, of an abundance instead of a scarcity mindset. Um, I'm not scared to not have money. I'm not scared that we're not going to have food to eat. I'm not scared that I'm not going to have gas to put in my car. And when I'm not scared, it's like all of these things are taken care of. All of these things are taken care of and my life is starting to mold into what I want it to be. All based on my thoughts. All based on me focusing and concentrating on what it is that I really want out of life and I just thought that this was just such an I mean this book was just very amazing and it just really it really helped me realize that yes a lot of the things that I feel inside are are happening for a reason it's my subconscious mind tapping tapping saying hey 
you know, there's something else here. There's something else to to all that's been going on in your life. There's there's much more to it than what you just think on the normal basis when you're awake. There's much more to life than just what we see every day on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, I mean, there's much more to life than what we really when than what most of us understand. And so I really urge most of you to to really um to really really find out more about your subconscious mind and the power that you all hold that we all hold within. Um now and I had another I had another line that another little small paragraph I wanted to share and it says it is pretty well agreed that the subconscious mind works as a result of images thrown up in thrown upon its screen but if there is something wrong with your projection apparatus I like that word there's something wrong with your proje projection apparatus or the original slide then the projected image is blurred inverted or a total blank now this is very important listen to this part doubts Fears, counter thoughts all have a part in blurring the pictures you consciously desire to project. So whenever we doubt ourselves, whenever we fear the unknown or we fear that we don't know what's going on or we don't know what's going to happen in our country and we don't know if we're going to be bombed or whatever, whenever you fear, you make it hard to really, you, you make those, those visions, you make what you really want whenever you're trying to project it on your mental screen, it's distorted, it's hard to see, it's hard to visualize. And so that's when a lot of people give up. They just give up and then they just they just give up hope on life because they have so many doubts and fears with inside themselves that they just, they never, they never really ever, they never reach their full potential because they let their doubts, fears, counter thoughts, get the best of them. Um, so I really recommend all of you get this book. I'm going to show it to you again. The Magic of Believing. Let me see. Can you see that? The Magic of Believing. <clears throat> and I mean, I this book is just has really just really changed my whole my whole um, my whole outlook on on a lot of things on 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 I I've, I've always known that I've had a very strong intuition I've always known that um, that I've always been able to I've been I've just been very intuitive and I've always known certain things before that they before they happen I've been able to feel out certain situations and now I have a ver a better understanding of what that is so I really encourage all of you to, to really not give up on your hopes and dreams. There's no dream or idea that is too big to achieve. Um, and most importantly, I know most of you saw my other video, don't let anybody steal those dreams because there still are a lot of people who have not yet grasped the concept that we hold power within us to create whatever life we want, to be whatever we want, we have that within us. It's within. And if you just, and if you just, if you strive, if you, if you really, really want, um, if you really have a burning desire to learn more about it and to tap into it and to learn what it can do for you and how you can use it to your ability, I promise you life will be so beautiful. Things will be so much clearer. There's, you're going to have a lot less heartache. You're going to have a lot less negative days. You're going to have more happy days than anything. Once you really get a good understanding and once you really learn how to use your powers to your benefit and once you just really learn that, that we are all beautiful creations of God and that each and every one of us is important. Um, so I want to leave you with that. And I hope all of you, this book was very inexpensive. It was only $6.99 at Barnes & Noble. And I really recommend that if anybody wants to be, if you want to be a better singer, dancer, basketball player, anything, you want to be better at anything in life, you want more out of life, I, I strongly suggest you go and pick up this book. And It's helped me. I know it's helped thousands of other people. And I know it'll help you as well. So um, good luck. And I would love to hear comments on anybody that has already read the book and what they've gotten from it. 
so if you would leave your comments down below and, and then also if, if when you go and get the book and you read it I would love for you to um, to let me know as well let me know what you thought and let me know how it's changed your your perspective and I will be talking to you soon and take care